God. It's your time to be blessed. Take your Bible this morning. God is a good God. I got a word that's going to help you as you go forward. Somebody say forward. And all that God has for you. Go with me to the book of Ephesians this morning. God is a good God. I want to talk with you this morning about the power of self-talk. What are you saying to yourself? Amen. What are you saying to yourself? Somebody say amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, stop talking to yourself. Uh, I'm talking to, let us all stand for just a minute. Let us all stand for just a minute. Let us all stand up for just a minute. I got one scripture I'm going to read. I'm going to be working from one scripture this morning. God is a good God. He loves you and everything is going to be all right. Somebody say it's going to be all right. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter, nine, chapter number 5, verse 19, speaking to yourselves in what? Psalms and what? Spiritual hymns, uh-huh. Spiritual songs, uh huh. Singing, making melody in your heart to the Lord. Giving what? Thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord and Savior, what? Jesus Christ. Raise your hands all over the house. Put them up. We stretch our arms because just know the Bible said, lift your hands in the sanctuary. And everybody say with me, say, Lord, thank you. For all your goodness in my life, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us now. Help us through. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name I pray, somebody say amen. Bless you. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. It's amazing we live in a time where people criticize themselves inside their head. Everything they say to themselves is negative. They, they, they just talk to themselves in negative ways. My word to you this morning is that you must do all that you say, can to speak faith over your life. You'll be amazed at how many people kill themselves because they kept saying, I'm no good. I know it don't matter anymore. Self-talk. I want to talk to you this morning as a pastor about the power of self-talk in your life. Shut up that negative critter in your head. It criticizes your life. It criticizes your children. It criticizes your job. It criticizes your family. It criticizes your finances. It criticizes everything. Silence the critter in your head because God has a plan for your life. The secret to life, saying the right things inside your head. One of the secrets to life, is your thoughts, because thoughts leads to words. Words leads to action. Action leads to your destiny. People fail because of what they've told themselves. I'm never going to get over this. My life was, I was molested. I'm never going to get over it. They treated me wrong. I'm never going to get over it. You know, I had an abortion. I'm never going to get over it. Self-talk will curse your life. My, my assignment is this morning is to remind you to speak faith over your life. Somebody say amen. Positive self-talk is a road to sobriety for the addict, for the person that is addicted. If they talk faith to themselves and tell themselves, I'm going to get over these drugs. I'm going to get out of this facility. I'm going to live a sane life. If they can get themselves to come to a place to where they can speak faith out of their mouth, research shows that a lot of time they'll have success with their sobriety, but they keep telling themselves, it was my daddy's fault. It was my mama's fault. You know, life wasn't fair to me. I was a black man. I was a white man. I was a Hispanic man. Whatever you are, you got to speak faith out of your mouth and say, God is on my side. Am I in the right church today? Some people that talk so bad to themselves, they can't do nothing but talk down to themselves. We need to pray and ask the Lord, Lord, help me to get the negative self-talk out of my head. Yes, people are going to treat you wrong. Yes, they're going to mistreat you. Yes, your family is going to hurt you. Yes, things are not going to always work out. But you got to start telling yourself, if God be for me, who can be against me? Somebody say amen. 
See, I've never seen my dad. If he walked through the doors right now, I wouldn't know the guy. On my mom's deathbed, I asked her and she wouldn't tell me. So some things you leave alone. Am I in the right church? But I've learned that God is my father. And I'm going to say what he says. Somebody say amen. And I'm going to say it over and over and over again. We move in the direction of our self-talk. Hear me, church. We move, our lives move in the direction of our self-talk. Single lady, if you keep saying, I ain't never going to find nobody. You ain't never going to find nobody. If you keep saying, I can't find no good man, you ain't never going to find a good man. If you keep saying, all men are dog, then you ain't never going to find one. But you got to say, I'm a daughter of destiny. I'm a daughter of destiny. God is on my side. I still got life, and something good is going to happen to me. Somebody say amen. See, we need to listen to what you say to yourself. Hear me, church. Build your life on words that are true. The Lord is on my side. Something good is going to happen to me. I'm going to get out of this hospital. I'm going to have my health back. Listen to what you are saying and always think straight. The Lord is on my side. Somebody say amen. But the devil gets inside of some of our heads and some of our thoughts. And he begins to bring in negative self-talk. He began to tell you, put yourself down. You ain't no good. You ain't never had no success in your life. He began to tell you, you know, just stay depressed. You, aren't you depressed? And then all of a sudden you say, yeah, I just feel a little depressed. Then your sister calls you, how you doing? Well, I just feel a little depressed. <laughs> Self-talk. I'm never going to pay off my house. Self-talk. Never going to pay off this car. Self-talk. But you got to know that the Lord is on my side. Somebody say, the Lord is on my side. Death and life and the power of the tongue. God always is listening to what you say. He listened to what the children of Israel said. And you got to hear me, church. God hears what you say. And if you say negative things to yourself, then negative things are going to begin to manifest in your life. For God told Moses when the children of Israel would not go into the land and spy out the land and take over the land, they came back and criticized and were negative. And then God told Moses, he said, Moses, you tell them as surely as I live, saith the Lord, as they have spoken it in my ears, that is exactly what I'm going to do in their life. You got to watch what you're saying in your head. The greatest enemy of most Christians, it ain't always no devil. I know there is a devil, and I, he's attacked my wife, my kids, my family. He's attacked all everything in my life. I know there is a devil. But a lot of times, it's our negative self-talk. Things that we're telling ourselves. Over and what? Over, help me say it, and what? Over again. I'm never going to find a job. That's what some men say. Sir, I'm here to tell you, you can find a good job. The Lord is on your side. Cut a deal with God. Lord, you give me a good job, I'll be a tither. I guarantee you you'll find the job. But the question is, are you going to tithe when you get the job? Oh, that's the real question. I know men that cut a deal with God, they didn't tithe. And then a few months later, what happened to your job, man? Well, the boss didn't like me, man. It was racist down there. You're a lie. It wasn't no racist. You made a vow to God, and you didn't keep your vow, and you got fired. Uh, hold on. Self-talk. Hear me, church. It ain't always no devil. When something attacked my life, I got to start. First thing I do is saying, what am I saying? Alvin, what are you saying to yourself? What are you quoting to yourself? What are you memorizing? What are, you, what are the ants in your head? Automatic negative thoughts. What are the ants running over and what? Over and what? Over. Victory starts inside your head. When I started this church, they said, ain't nobody going to come to a school. They came to the school. We left that school. They said, ain't nobody going to come to the school. The chairs are too small. And the chairs were small. Y'all remember the chairs. 
Some of you remember how small the chairs was. They said, you ain't going to make it in Denver. Denver's a different city in a church for churches. They didn't know. God was my father. When I called, he answered. We may not be the biggest church in town. We may not have the most money in town. We may not have the most members in town. But we got God on our side. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. The Lord is on our side. He touched a man's heart all the way in Canada. Said, call that preacher and sell him these two units. Because I tell myself every day the Lord is on my side. I don't know my dad, but the Lord is on my dad. Never bought me a car, but the Lord is my father. Somebody say amen. When our children's ministry outgrew our youth over there, we needed the unit next to us. You know, we, we said, Lord, we need your help. We didn't go to the bank. We said, Lord, we need your help. See, some of y'all, the first thing you need money, you run to the bank. Let me help you. Slow down. God is trying to work it out in your life. Somebody say, slow down. I know the bank is there and you got good credit and you got money in the bank, but just slow down and let the Lord work it out. The marijuana shop wanted the unit next door. So we just prayed, Lord, we need your help. That's why I come to noon, they pray every day, Monday through Friday. In Denver, you got to pray. Churches die in Denver. Pastors get shredded in Denver. You got to pray. Somebody say, pray now. I prayed and prayed. Some of you came by and prayed with us. If you're available from 12 to 1, Monday through Friday, come by and holler with us. We just holler, Lord, we need your help. Some of you pray your liturgical prayers. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Blind Bartimaeus got no help praying like that. He said, Lord, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped. Whoa, whoa. See, your mouth can stop Jesus' chariot. But some of y'all are so cute. You're so pretty. You got $100,000 in the bank, and that's cool. But I don't care what you get. There comes a point, there's some things money cannot buy. Oh, am I, am I in the right church today? Some things money can't buy. So we prayed, and God touched the heart of the owner of the unit next door. The marijuana shop was offering them twice what they wanted to buy. But he sold it to us. I sat in that door right over there in that room, the first room on your right when you walk in. I sat and told him. He gave me a big number, 500000 I said, oh, I put my hands up. I made it by my head. I made faces. Lean back in the chair. Oh, that's too much. You get what you negotiate. When they tell your number, if you just say, okay, then you, you're done. I've been teaching my son Joe how to negotiate. You know, you throw your hands up. Throw your head back. Make a face. If you're in public, people don't like you to get loud. You get loud. Oh! He came down from 500,000 to 400,000 and one head bow, arm raise, and scream. You're going to get what you negotiate. Am I right in the church today? Somebody say amen. You don't get what you negotiate. Get what you negotiate. Self-talk. You got to tell yourself, I'm a child of the king. Raise your hands all over the house. Everybody, put them up. Put that elbow all the way. Everybody say, Lord, I am a child of the king. God is my help. Victory comes to your life when you say the right things in your head. Somebody say amen. When your thoughts are negative, you stop the anointing of God. The power of God from flowing in your life. Somebody say amen. See, we're born with a sin nature. And it's our default mode to go negative. When you get into it with your wife, your default mode to go negative. That's why I try not to get into it with my wife. Because I know I got two default modes. One on the left and one on the right. And it, both of them will go negative, And then I start talk, saying stuff that I should not say. Talk about people in their family that I should not talk about. Now it takes me six months to recover. 
So I, 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 I tell my default, shut it off. Somebody say amen. See, you got to speak positive things over your life. You got to speak positive things over your life. It starts in your head. It starts in your head. Jesus said, love the Lord with all your heart, with all your what? Soul, and with all your what? Mind. You can't just give in. You got loved ones in trouble. You got to keep saying the Lord's going to help them out. The Lord's going to help them out. You got a daughter in trouble. You got to keep telling yourself the Lord's going to help her out. You got a son in trouble. You got to keep saying the Lord's going to help him out. You know, no matter what the DA says, no matter what the judge says, you got to say the Lord's going to help him out. The Lord's going to give him favor. Somebody say favor. favor. Somebody say favor. favor. See, the enemy is counting on your negative self-talk to defeat you. He is counting on your negative self-talk to defeat you. True transformation in the life of the Christian takes place inside of our head. True transformation for the believer takes place inside of our head. We make up in our mind, I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to get the church and I'm going to worship the Lord in this house. Then our lives started to change week after week, month after month. Somebody say transformation. You got to begin to say that the Lord is my help. Somebody say help. The Lord is my help. You got to say something good to yourself. And I'm not just talking about a self-help. But I'm talking about the anointing of the Holy Ghost that works in the life of the believer that helps the believer to put down, cast down those imaginations, and cast down those old negative things, and cast down those things that will wreck your life. Somebody say amen. You got to proclaim the Lord is my help. Somebody say the Lord is my help. Oh, y'all sound like Raider fans. I need some Broncos. Somebody say the Lord is my help. Oh, that's what I'm talking I can feel you now. Yeah. We have to know what works in the life of the believer. We have to begin to say the right things. We do the most damage to ourselves when we make a mistake. Have you ever made a mistake? And you say, ain't nothing but a fool. Have you ever made a mistake? And you say, I'm stupid. Have you ever made a mistake? And you said, boy, that was stupid of me. Have you ever made a mistake? And then started cursing yourself and saying all kind of bad things to yourself. We, are, we do the worst, most damage when we make a mistake. But you got you to say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm going to do better next time. Give me more anointing when that task comes up again. Somebody say amen. Because the, the anointing in our heads and anointing in our body will help us to be transformed. Somebody say transform. It will renew our mind. It will unite our hearts with God's heart. It will help us to be all that God called us to be. Stop beating yourself up. There's somebody here. And I'm not going to call you up. All you do is talk negative to yourself. Inside your head. It is a negative meal. You say one negative thing, a next negative thing, and a next negative thing to yourself, and you wonder why you're discouraged. You wonder why you're not happy. Me and you wonder why your wife ain't happy. She won't smile because she's been talking negative to herself. That's why, men, you got to start talking to your wife and start saying positive things first. Lady, you wonder why your husband is, is, and won't smile because he's been beating himself up. He's not gotten over the bankruptcy that he had. He's not gotten over the bad credit that he had. He's not gotten over the money that he foolishly threw, threw away. But you got to get let it go. And say, the Lord is my help. Somebody say, the Lord is my help. Somebody say, the Lord is my help. Somebody say, the Lord is my help. You got to tell yourself to shut up. Shut up, self. Holy Spirit, talk to me. I have to tell myself that sometimes. And I think I'm a pretty sane person. But I have to tell myself, shut up. 
I had to tell myself yesterday to shut up. My wife said something to me, and then, I, and I, I, then all them thoughts that my default kicked in, and I had to say, shut up. And I just quietly shut up. It wasn't no devil. It was self. It was the flesh. It was our carnal nature. Somebody say amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, tell yourself to shut up. Sometimes ladies say, I'm going to leave you. And they just keep telling themselves that I'm going to leave you. Sometimes the husband say, I'm, I want out of here. You keep telling yourself, I want out of here. You're going to mess yourself up. That person is assigned by God to be in your life. You run them out and watch what happens. Somebody say amen. You are left alone with your own negative thoughts when you mess up and when you make a bad decision. Positive self-talk under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, will help lead you to your destiny. You got to say, I'm going to make it. Raise your hand. Let's say it together. Everybody say, Lord, thank you for all your help in my life. I am going to make it. The Bible tells us to speak into ourselves. It's all right to talk to yourself, but you got to say the right thing. Somebody say Amen. It's all right to talk to yourself, but you got to say the right thing. What am I to say, Pastor, when I talk to myself? How do I deal with my negative self-talk? Number one, number, number one, speak to yourself positive. Number two, speak psalms to yourself. Teach your kids the 23rd psalms. So I, if nothing else, I'm going to say the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Somebody speak into yourselves in what? Psalms. Somebody say psalms. Speaking to yourselves in what? Hymns. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. That was my, one of my mama's favorite songs. She's in heaven today. But you got to speak to yourself. Or speak to yourself. Psalms, hymns, somebody say amen. You got to speak to yourself. Spiritual songs, you got to speak to yourself. The Lord is on my side. I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Oh, everything. Oh, I. Got a feeling everything's going to be all right, be all right, be all right, be all right. Y'all can't be singing Barry White song. Oh, baby, can't get enough of your love. You're going to end up in an affair. You're going to end up messed up. You're going to end up with your money messed up. Somebody say amen. You got to tell yourself. Everything is going to be all right. Somebody say everything. everything. Number five, we got to speak to ourselves. Singing. Singing to yourself. Somebody say amen. Singing to yourself. You got to sing to yourself. That's why our young men kill themselves. Because they always say, I ain't no good. I made that stupid mistake. I'm, I, 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 I'm a felon now. And so they blow their brains out. That's not God's plan for you. That's not God's plan for me. I got to tell you as a pastor, that's not the right kind of thinking. You got to say this happened, but I'm going to get beyond it. Because the Lord is on my side. Something good is going to happen to me. Raise your hand all over the house. Put them up. Everybody say, Lord, I need, I need your help in my life. Somebody say amen. The children of Israel. Rather than singing and making melody in their hearts to the Lord, they begin to talk to themselves. And here's what they said, church. God said, go in in Numbers 14 and possess the land. But the children of Israel, they, were, they defaulted to their negative self-talk default. And here's what they said. God said, go in. Moses, choose men. That's why we pray about men in this church. You need to be at man up. 
Somebody say amen. You need to be here in the morning at 5.30. I'll be here at 5.30 a.m., not p.m. Because if you want to meet with me, get up. I don't want to meet with a lazy man that's going to sleep. Pastor, I'll call you at 1 o'clock. I ain't got no time for you. The anointing is early in the morning. God moves in the early morning of the hours. That's when the anointing flow. That's when blessings happen. That's when favor happens. Somebody say favor. The children of Israel had it all. But they began to talk negative self-talk. This is what they said. God said, go up and get the land. I've already given it to you. Just go in and search it out. It's yours. And they went up and said, we saw the giants. Self-talk. We don't be nothing but bread for the giants. And then they came back and said, Whoo, the giants were so big, we were nothing but what? Grasshopper. Self talk. They said it in their head before it ever came out of their mouth. And then finally, I knew there were some brothers up in there. I knew there were some black men up in there. I denounced that theology and said Christianity is a black, a white man's religion. That's a devil's liar. That's the devil trying to mess up your family members. I knew there were some brothers way back there before Jesus. Because here's what they said. We be not able. That's bad English. What they say, we be not able. Somebody say Amen. See, you got to make melody in your heart to the Lord. You got to make melody in your heart to the Lord. Lord, you, you remember grandmama when you be in the kitchen and, and, and be in the kitchen and cooking, and she'd be just, mm, mm, mm. anybody ever had a grandmama be in there? Mm, mm. Singing and making melody in your heart. Women today, they are too cool to do that. They don't want to get into that. They're cougars now. They, they, you know, they want to look good. You know? They don't want to get into the hymns. But them old grandmothers was anointed. They had God's power. They had God's favor. And they prayed you in. That's why you in church today. It ain't because you were so saved. It ain't because you knew God loved you. It was your grandmama's prayer. I ain't got no help in this presbytery. Somebody say amen. Somebody say Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for every grandmother. As I get ready to close, number seven, how do we talk to ourselves? Giving thanks to the Lord, what? Always. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's why I love the song that we sing with the choir, Thank You, Lord, for all you are in our lives. You got to talk. Somebody say, talk to yourself, but say the right things. Talk to yourself. Lady, if your husband opened his mouth and say something negative to you, he's been thinking it. So don't get mad at him. Don't cut him down, which a lot of times you do. His default slipped. So then you got to say, honey, it's a nice day to be with you today. I'm so glad I'm with you. I'm happy that you are here. Somebody say Amen. Husband, if your wife says something negative, don't get mad at her. Remember, she defaulted, and she was thinking negative self-talk, and it just came out of our mouth. How many of you, how many of you have ever been thinking something, and then you said it? Let's just tell the truth this morning. How many of you ever been thinking something negative, and then you just blurted out of your I do it all the time. I get in trouble. My wife tells me all the time, Alvin, pray before you think, pray before you talk. Because I don't want to tell you what I'm thinking. Because what I'm thinking ain't good. Because I grew up in a negative family. I'm not ashamed to say it. I grew up in a negative family. And we said what we thought. So I have to pray. That's why if you text me or send me an email, 99.9% of the time, I will not respond. It's either Jordan, my wife, maybe Joe. Because if I respond, I tell you about your mama stinking toes. I tell you about your mama bad breath. I tell you about her big, her belly. I, I, you don't want me to respond. That's why I have to pray, Lord, let me be a pastor today. 
Let me be a pastor today. Don't let me be Alvin. Let me be the pastor today. In the name of Jesus, give me that pastoral anointing that comes over my life. Somebody say amen. As I close this morning, Jordan, just be quiet. As I close today, I want you to know you can go far in life. We can go far as a church. That's why we have uh, the vision that the Lord put on our heart. We do life what? Together. Somebody say amen. We can go far in life. We can go far if we would get a hold of our negative self-talk. Begin to say something good to somebody. Put your arms around somebody. Let me tell you, I love you. Just say, I love you. Put your arms around. Let me reach out to you. Let's put your arm. Put your arm. Come on, sir. Put your arms around your wife. Put your arms around. Just tell them, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm glad you're here. I love you. I love you. Parents, if you're sitting by your kids, uh, kids, if you're sitting by your parents, you really ought to put your arms around them. Somebody say amen. And we close with number eight. Giving thanks always in the name of our Lord and Savior, who? Jesus Christ. Ladies, stop saying negative things about yourself. Women say negative things about themselves every hour. That's what research says. Every hour, a lady says something negative in her self-talk about herself. I'm not pretty enough. My hair is not long enough. I'm not tall enough. They just say something negative about themselves. You are a daughter of destiny. I close this morning and say that you are a daughter of favor. And the Lord is on your side. So I have learned over the years, and I'm learning over the years, how not to beat myself up when I mess up. But I'm here this morning to tell you that goodness and mercy is going to follow you. All the days of your life, get it in your head. Your life is going to follow your words. Favor is going to come upon your life. You got to begin to decree and declare every day that something good is going to happen to me. No weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. Somebody say amen. I'm not going to put myself down. Don't you put yourself down. Don't beat yourself up. Don't be mad at yourself. The Lord is on your side. Somebody say, the Lord is on my side. I have favor. I'm going to trust in the Lord with all of my heart. Lead not to my own understanding. In all of my ways, I'm going to acknowledge him. Because I'm going to say it in my head first. The Lord is my help. Somebody say, the Lord is my help. Come on, speak faith over yourself. Break the curse. Break the curse. Break the curse. Break the curse of negative thinking. Break the curse of negative self-talk. Break the curse. Break, somebody say, break the curse. Break the curse of beating yourself up. Break the curse of cursing yourself out. Break the curse of saying negative things in your life. Somebody say, I am blessed. Say it again. I am blessed. One more time. I am blessed. Now give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. Memorize the 23rd Psalm and begin to say it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Make me to lie down in green pastures. Leading me beside the still water. He restores my soul. Say it again. He restores my soul. Say it again. He restores my soul. Say it again. He restores my soul. soul. Leading me all the days of my life. I am blessed. Open your mouth and say, I am blessed.
Now somebody give the Lord a hand clap. Break the curse of negative self-talk. I'm calling the anointing in your life. And everybody stand with me. Stand with me.